see lots of yellow cards and two red cards here. And we've also seen Conor McManus get by. And McManus is hauled down. Well, that is delivered in a short cover lap. That is short cover prevents a definite falling chance. Let's see what the colour of the card is going to be. Well, it's black card territory, but that's next year. It's only a yellow right now. He's a very lucky boy, it must be said. That was a definite bowling chance that time for Conor McManus. He skipped, I think it was Dermot Carlin. Got through, had a rugby tackle up to the ground. To me, that's a red card offence. Well, it uh, will be a black card definitely next year. And he would be, of course, replaced. But right now, it's Conor McManus. Joe, you look a bit pensive uh, after that match. Well, I mean, I, you know, I, I want nothing to do with that, to be quite honest. You know, I think it's a disgrace. I think it's absolutely disgraceful. Quite. You know, and then, you know, Mickey Hart jumping up and down and cheering and smiling afterwards as if they've achieved something good. I'll tell you what they've achieved. They've achieved something absolutely rotten. And they're becoming a template for clubs and for counties all over the country now. Young team is going out. An under-16 match on Wednesday night. Two sweepers methodically pulling down the opposing team as they're coming up the field. This is how you do it to get the job done. This is the new language. The, euphem the euphemism for cheating is closing the game out. That, that, what he, what Sean Cavanagh did, I can't believe that somebody awarded him the man of the match. That was a total and absolute disgrace. That's the antithesis, hold on, of what Gaelic games are about. You're supposed to be able to look your opponent in the face. What do we, what do we teach kids? Respect for yourself. Respect for your opponent. I take an under-12 team. If any of them did that, they wouldn't play for the team again. And yet... Hold on, yet this is being toted around the country. And people are saying things like, well, that's within the rules, they're only up. It's not within the rules. You're not supposed to rugby tackle someone from behind. It was a total disgrace, and I'll tell you something else about it. I mean, nobody has stood up for Tyrone more during the 2000s than I have in this studio, when they were getting all sorts of abuse from you and from you. But I'll tell you this, I'll not be standing up for that. That's an absolute disgrace. And the casual way that it's done last week, last week they dragged down the young Mees fellow when he was through the ground. Drag him down. That's how you do it. Wallace only got the goal because he escaped the rugby tackle. Today, Sean Kavanagh, who is a brilliant footballer, but I'll tell you what, you can forget about Sean Kavanagh as far as he's a man. What he did there tonight was a total and absolute obscenity. I think he's a young Hold on, let me finish the point. McManus gets the ball. He decides... I can break through here. I can score a goal. He shows a sense of adventure. He beats the first man. He's through. What happens? He's just dragged down to the ground. And I'll tell you what, the black card's only the start of an urgent, an absolutely urgent process that's required. There is no, hold on, there is no sport. No, there is no sport. I have to pick you up. No, I'll tell you something. There is no sport, no other sport apart from Gilly Games, where that is permitted. It's an absolute disgrace. I tell you, I, 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 don't, I want nothing to do with that. I have to bring you back here to, to, to Sean Cavanagh. The Monaghan player was running through. Sean Kavanagh fouled him. He rugby tackled him. After he fouled him, Sean actually did that. He looked around and he said, basically, well, I couldn't do anything else. The guy was going to go through and score. I mean, okay, can, I, I, I can't. Let's forget about that. Here, what's he getting away from? Can I say something? Relax, relax. I want to know all the values. Let's play rugby league. Just let them play rugby league. Let me finish up. Let me speak. 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 Let us respond. What you're saying is true, but like Civic and football has always been present in the game. If any other county team were in the same position as Sean Cabinet there in that position, every one of the other fellas would have shouted around, take him down, don't let him get a goal. I don't know, Joe, you haven't lived in the real world. I know I Tyrone have brought it to a different level, but there is no other team in the country and no other team in the past who would have allowed so Kieran true. McManus no, so to solo through? And nobody would ever stick, no, nobody ever stick with the ball, ball in the net. No, it has it certainly gone to a, a different level now. I've played against hard to own teams, very, very, very hard to own teams. A lot of better men that are playing out there today. Played against them, and I, that was never done to me. Quite like Faye Devlin from our bone that they were hard, hard men, but they played the bloody game fair. And you could sit and have a pint with them. How could anybody go and sit and have a pint with those boys after that? It's an absolute outrage. Oh, it's totally the opposite of what's worth doing. Major point. Major point. Thank you.